Hello and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use dynamic data from a Dataverse record in a model-driven power app to convert this data to a Word file with the help of Word templates. So the first thing that we need to do is head over to our application that we've built. And in the command bar, we need to look for the option Word templates. And then we're going to view all my templates. And as you can see, we don't have any templates yet, but we are going to create a new one. And we're going to select download to create Word template. And then we're going to select the entity for which we want to convert it to a Word file. And in our scenario, this will be the account entity. In these tier three sections, you will be able to select the relationships to other tables you'd like to use inside of the, the merge template. For now, we're just going to select them all. So we will be have, have every uh, possibility available. But for now, we're going to download this template. Okay, so we've downloaded and opened the Word template. And as you can see, we're starting with a completely empty file. Uh, we're now going to fill this with dynamic data. How we are going to add this dynamic data to the word file is we're going to head over to the developer tab. And here you will have the option XML mapping pane. So we're going to select this one. And then here, uh, just look for the entity name that you want to add the, the fields for and select that option inside of this drop down menu. And here you will see our entity name for, for us. This will be the account table. We're going to drop this down. And here you can see all of the logical names for the columns side of uh, data first in our model driven application. And for example, if you want to take address telephone one, you can add the insert control and we're going to add this as plain text. And here you can see a placeholder, but when we're going to convert this template to the actual file, you will see that this will be replaced by the value of the field inside of our model driven application. So let me just set up a quick example, which we can start testing inside of our environment. All right. So I've set up a quick example with just a few fields. So as you can see, these are all placeholders that are taken from the XML mapping section. Uh, so you can just right click this and edit how you like. You can just add static data as much as you want. You can add a logo, everything like that. That's just based on your needs. And because of we've added all of the relationships, it's also possible to grab columns from a related entity, which is, for example, connected through a lookup column. Uh, so that's also a possibility within the merging ins into a Word file. So now we're going to save this file and import it inside of our model-driven application. Okay, I've saved the file as YouTube example. So now we're going to upload it inside of our model driven application. And to do so, we're going to go back to the page where we've downloaded the template and we're going to hit new again. But this time we're going to say upload word template. And then you will just be able to upload the file. All right. So as you can see, we've added our YouTube example doc and now we're going to hit upload. And as you can see, it's now uploaded to our personal document templates and we will be able to use it. And then we're going to go back to the form of our model driven application. So we've used the, the country. Let's just switch that to the Netherlands. We've also had the city. Let's change this to Arnhem. And now we're going to hit save. And then we're going to go back to the command bar here above. We're going to hit the three dots again. We're going to go to word templates. Now we are able to see our actual template and we will be able to use this. So when we're going to hit the name of our template, it will automatically start generating the actual word file. So we're going to test this right now. And now we're going to open this to take a look. So as you can see, it generated ourselves a Word file with our dynamic data. So the name of the uh, account, the email address of the account, and the corresponding city and country. So when you're using this template on another account with different data, it will obviously generate it with their corresponding data. So this was the video about how to generate a Word file based on dynamic data from a model-driven application. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'd like to see you guys in the next one.